No, the devil has a good purpose. Yes, he does. You know, a lot of you now came to God once the devil got on you. <laughs> you wouldn't even came to God if the devil wouldn't got on your back. So he slapped the devil to get on you. So you can see. Oh, I never did that. You know why real wicked people believe in God? Because they know they're really wicked. And there has to be an opposite to this. Are y'all listening to me? That was believing God more than people. Oh, God believe in God. Because they know they're wrong. A light is only good in darkness. But the thing about darkness compared to light, uh -huh. that darkness has to submit to the light. Light does not submit to darkness. Light to darkness. See, it doesn't take a whole lot of light to get rid of darkness. It just needs a little light. Because darkness is not even real. You can't horn its darkness. Are y'all listening to me? All darkness is, is the absence of light. Soon when you put a light up, darkness flees. Good God Almighty. So if you're having a dark light, amen, all you got to do is turn some light on. And the darkness will flee. Let me say it the way God said it. Submit to God. And the devil's going to flee. Ain't that what he said? Wow. That's the word. That, that's all he said. You, 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 you don't have to go turn around three times. <laughs> you, you don't have to dump up a whole pot of oil on yourself. <laughs> you can go get you something to eat. You can do all that. Right. All you got to do is submit to God. Wow. If you want to get the devil off your back, submit to God. Are y'all listening to me? If you want to stop the devil in his track, submit to God. You want to get the devil out of your body? Submit to God. You want to get the devil out of your mind? Submit to God. You want to get the devil out of your finances? Submit to God. You want to get the devil out of your family? Submit to God. Come on, listen to me. Just submit to God. Be wrong. Light has been turned on. Light has been turned on. Do you notice we go into hellish places? Demonic places. Right. You know when we out there feeding, amen. You are, you're walking in the midst of darkness, but you, do you notice the darkness flees Please. when you come? That's right. The people that don't really want to hear God leave, yes, sure and the people that really want to hear God stay. Yes. <sighs> Why? Because you light. After a while, some of your old friends, as you walk in the light, gonna say, "I don't want to hang around." Because you're light. And light exposes darkness. People do much, they do more crime and all that in dark times. The freaks come out it. That's what all the crazy, weird stuff happens. That's one of the reasons I told security, the security people, I want this so much light around this building. It's going to look like a stadium. Come on, Pastor. I said, I know I'm going to deter the devil from coming in here. I'm going to turn on light. I want bright light. So I know they ain't going to want to do nothing around here. You know how you keep the devil out of the congregation? Turn on light. Turn on the light. That's right. Just, just get some people that have rubbed together with you and shine for eight or five. Cause shouldn't no devil be comfortable hanging out here if it's light? No, yeah, shouldn't. Now, you know, devil snakes like dark, dark places. Mm -hmm. You want to find a snake, go find a dark, dark place. Yeah. They got wood and bushel covered up. You will find a snake under there. Snakes don't like to be exposed. Yeah. But when you get hot, brothers and sisters, every snake got to jump out. Mm -hmm. Oh, when you catch on fire, every snake you don't like got to jump. If a snake is comfortable being by you, your light is no, too dim. You're supposed to get hot enough to every yes. snake say, I got to get away from Come on. That's good. Oh, I don't chase people that say they can't be around me. Come on. I don't chase people that try to leave me. Are y'all really, listening to me? Yeah. That means you can't be exposed to this type of heat. That's 
Amen. Oh, if you want to walk with Jesus, you're going to be exposed to heat. Yes, sir. Are y'all listening to me? If you're going to walk with Jesus, you got to walk in the light. Jesus don't do stuff in the dark. Jesus don't tiptoe in the dark. Jesus don't fight in the dark. Jesus is a God of light. Good God of light. Walk while it's still day. Light comes to nobody. Walk in the light. 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 Walk Right. Amen. Oh, really? You know one thing that God does with us? What do you do, He exposes us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, see, this lets us know if you can really walk with it. Right. 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 Because before God exposes you to people, yes, He's gonna expose you to you. Because you're in light now. And you're going to start saying, I got to change that. I'm about to stop. You got to change that. Right, that's real. I can't do that. Stop that. <laughs> can't do that no more. <laughs> Come on out of that. <laughs> Are y'all listening to me? I learned. I learned. If it's one thing I've learned to match, this is my secret. I judge myself. Yes, That's right. That's right. You got to do it. See, before I let my daddy judge me, I tell my daddy, put up the belt. I promise you, daddy, I'm going to get this right. I'm going to be the honest. Because he, he will give you a certain time to judge yourself. Well, that's his grace and mercy. He'll tell you, get it right, son. Get it right, daughter. Get it right. Ain't that a good God? Ain't that a good father? And before he come in, kick him over the door. Come on to the light. But after a while, if you don't walk in the light, he'll just turn the light on. I know, I know he will. Because he's trying to get you right. He's trying to get you out of the darkness. Are y'all listening to me? He said, no, you are tight, brothers and sisters. That's, that's why people going to hate you. you. You know why they hated Jesus. Jesus didn't do nothing wrong to nobody. But you know why they killed him? Because he was shining. He was doing good. He was doing right. He was walking in light. He was fulfilled it was real. He wasn't playing. Well, they hated him. Wow. He wasn't was playing with no one, no. And they hated him because they was playing. He said, man, in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 17 through 8, he said, man loves dark. Let me read it. He said, he said, John 3, 19 20. And this is the condemnation. He said, this is what condemn people. Light coming to the world. And man loves darkness rather than light because their deeds was evil. But everyone that doeth evil have, have the light, neither come to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth come to truth, come to the true light, that his deeds may be manifest and that they walk unto God. He said, you know the reason they killed me? Because they didn't want to change. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. They wanted to stay. They got comfortable. They wanted to live in darkness. They made their bed in darkness. And they would refuse to repent and come to me. He said, and guess where they're going if they don't repent? To darkness. Eternal darkness. But if they repent, it's like the two thieves on the cross. We all that thief on the cross. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That did wrong and deserved it. 
Yes, sir. But when he seen Jesus, the light, mm -hmm. he repented. Mm -hmm. He said, you ain't did nothing wrong with me up here. I deserve it. Yeah. So I ask you, when you come into your kingdom, mm -hmm. how did the thief even know this man had a kingdom? Come on, come on. Good question. I came and revealed you are hanging by the king. See, if they really got life them, they're going to know who you is. Right, right. Because life is going to reveal who you really are. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? And so, I heard, he said, this light, my light, is not meant to be here. Mm -hmm. He said, no one lights a light. You've never seen somebody, an electrician, put a light on the ground. No, but they can't. No. Oh, you, you can run a corn just like you run a corn up there. You can run a corn right down there. But but it doesn't shine and give light to the house because it's on the floor. When God sets you on fire, He's gonna raise you up. You cannot want to be on fire for God and not want to be exposed. You're no good on the floor. What good is it to have a ministry firing you just in your house? It's no good. Because light ain't for you. Light is for everybody in the house. Are y'all listening to me? We can take these same lights and if we put them underneath these chairs, it would be dark in here. The only reason that it's light in here is because we got lifted up. Jesus says, when I set you on fire, I'm going to lift you up. So you got to make a decision. If I want to walk in darkness, oh, God said, so I'm the caterpillar and the butterfly. Caterpillar crawls on the ground amongst the dirt. Until it goes through a metamorphosis, a renewing of who it really is. And when it finds out, and it comes out and through a cocoon, and finds out it's a butterfly, you will never see a caterpillar put its feet back on the ground. Mm -hmm. But it lives elevated. Mm -hmm. Stop putting your feet Jesus. on the ground yeah. and flop. Jesus. Oh, don't never let him lift you up and then go back hanging where you used to go. Don't do it. God don't hear me. Don't when God lifts you up, yes, Lord. you're going to have to find new people to hang out with. Come on, man. New places to go. You know why? Because I ain't hanging out in the dirt no more. No more. Oh, good God. But I'm ready to fly. I'm ready to fly. Oh, you got to get over yourself if you're going to fly. Hey, get over yourself. Are you listening to me? Oh, it ain't you that's flying. He's the air beneath your wings. Woo! Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Yes, you got to get over what people think about you. Come on. The one thing about light, light is going to expose everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I remember when we used to do our TV show. It was so hot under them lights. Uh -huh. Why? Because the job of the light was to expose everything, brothers and sisters. So we were putting makeup on our blemishes. Are y'all in because it was exposing everything. You can't worry about